right, we're gonna do something right now called Cadillac Tracks. Yeah. It's an old Jimmy Hall tune. We like Jimmy Hall a lot. He came into town, oh, I don't know, 27 years ago, and we stole this from him. By the way, while we're doing this warm-up thing, I just gotta mention that the Dukes of Juke, right now, this month, August, is our 28th anniversary. We've been together 28 years. 28 years, baby. Thank y'all, thank you. Roger Casey, he was he stole some cords that are uh, they're not working, you know what I'm saying? So he's gotta fix them up. He stole these cords from these young kids that were practicing in his garage. And they're like that. All of them are bad. I think they tricked him. Alright, get ready, hold on to your car. Hold on to your steering wheel. Here we go. Now, now, now. something wrong, you know, cause she got just a little bit of tight, tight. She said, stop this car, man, you know. I'd rather be walking. I said, all right, honey, you got it, you know. You know, cause I'm tired of all your talking. That's right, well. I let that woman out. I skid on down the road. Oh. But then I got to thinking, oh, uh, you know, maybe I was just a little bit too cold, yeah. Yeah, so I, I took my crush to the back and around and I, I started heading back. But when I got there, I don't ever find a word. Cadillac tracks, that's what it was. Cadillac tracks. Cadillac tracks. Crazy. Now listen, listen to what I had to do, listen to this. It's pretty crazy too, listen. I went to see Joe Friday and he said, hey boy, just give me the facts. Now how do you know them tracks you found? With me by Cadillac. You know they was the, the deepest, wise tracks I'd ever seen. Uh, oh, you know Joe, they must have been made by some kind of low rider in every scene. That's right, listen, listen. So John, he just scratched his head. He said, boy, you can just relax. Cause me and my dogs are fine and I'm sure
across the floor, you honey, you got a little thing I own. I said, I'm in the side, and that was where I'm going. And then the pot began, called a fan, and he's a sore head on my head. Yeah. All right. Skippers, all the people working real hard to make this a great place to come out and listen to live music. And we're going to do something called Rendezvous with the Blues. Nice. Yeah. Oh, 
Faith, everybody feeling good out there? Yeah. This, is, this is one of them two, two songs, you know, and you know, you had some love affair and it went wrong, and you kind of like went and hid in under your bed and stuff like that. But then you did what? What? Okay, I thought somebody said, Sure, let's play the music. Shut up and sing. Uh, something called Leave of Faith. Sometimes you got to believe before you see the truth. 
Hey, Father Rose. Good job, Father Rose. All right, we're going to do something called Turn Back the Hands of Time. This is something I think that everybody has tried to do at one point or another in their lives, right? If I could only turn back the hands of time, try it all over again. But it doesn't work. Tonight, no, not tonight, the other night, I decided, because I'm here tonight, but yeah, I couldn't do that. But the other night, I decided I was going to go back and see my baby after 28 long years, you know? So I did. I drove over there in my Chrysler LeBaron. Yeah, they still make those cars. I have one. It's old, but you know, it still drives. I went over there to my old house. And you know, I get to my old house and what do I see? I see this like big giant two-story giant mansion. I'm thinking, whoa, check the address. It's the right address, you know. When I lived there, there was this tiny little 850 square foot little tiny house, you know. Now we got one of them two giant two-story giant mansions over there. But that's okay, that don't, that don't bother me. I'm cool with that. I like mansions, I like small houses, I don't care, you know. 
So I get my courage up. I get my courage up. Shake my shoulders out a little bit, loosen up, you know, like this. This is what Father Rose does to loosen up and get his courage up. I can't stop though. I, I keep doing this. I can't stop once I get into oh no. Thank you guys. Thanks. Thanks, God. Anyway, you know, there's my house. I walk up the path. Now this path is the path that I made myself. I had all these kind of like river rocks and shit like that, you know, and I, I put them down and I, I painted them blue because blue is my favorite color. And plus I'm a blues man, you know? So I painted these river rocks blue and I walked up to my door. Now my door is blue too. In this big two-story mansion, my door is still blue. She used the same door my baby did, so I knew there was some hope. My baby still got my blue door up there, so there is still some hope. So I get my courage up like this again. I'm getting a little nervous, you know? I walk up to the door. I slowly pull open the screen door. Somebody needs to do a little WD-40 on that thing. But here I am, getting ready to do the Bobby Rose knock. Help me out, Kyle, I'm getting ready. I'm getting ready. Then I go and do the Bobby Rose knock and I go. Is that it? That's good. Now my baby knows, when she hears that knock, my baby knows that's Bobby Rose knocking at the door. And sure enough, after 10, 20 minutes, the door slowly opens. The door slowly opens and I'm getting all my courage up again, you know? And there before my eyes is this beautiful woman. But it ain't my baby. It ain't my baby already, what's going on? I said, hey, is my baby home? And she says, oh, sure, just wait a minute. Who are you? I says, I'm Baba Rose. And she says, oh, sure. Your baby's waiting for you for 28 long years, sure. Here she comes. So I'm waiting, I'm getting my courage over again because I know my baby's coming over. I'm getting so excited. Here she comes, I see her in the back. She got them big old curlers all around in her hair. <laughs> oh, she's looking good to me. She got that bathrobe on, you know, that blue, blue bathrobe. She still wears the bathrobe because she knows blue is my favorite color. So here she comes. She looks at me, she sees me. She puts her hands on the hips. Wait a minute, wait a minute, fellas, don't get excited. She says, Oh, gosh, gee darn it. What the heck are you doing back in town, Bobby Rose? Gosh, gee, gosh, gee darn it, she says. Gosh, gee darn it. What does that mean? I'm looking at her and say, baby, what does that mean? She says, well, I could tell you something else, but I ain't going to tell you something else because I know there's children now. Children's are out in the audience. And the boys told me to watch my language to me, so I did. Anyway. There she is, I said, when she says, gosh, gee darn, I know I'm in trouble, you know? I know I'm in trouble, so you know what I do? I get down on my knees. First, I pull up my wedding pants like this. You know, this is my wedding pants. That's the way. Get down on my one knee, because my other knee ain't working too good. I know I gotta try it. Help me out, fellas, come on. I'm gonna say something like this. I'm gonna say, baby! Oh! I said, baby, please! Yeah! I said, baby, please! Won't you take my back, you know, it's, it's been 28 long years and, and I, here I am, honey. You know, I, and I'm, I'm right here on Tampa, Tampa, Florida, baby. You know, and it's the first time that I realized. Say that without your feeling, baby. I just came from Florida. 
bring a tear to my eye every time. Oh, no, <laughs> it's the cats up here, but I still got a tear. <laughs> We're going to bring up a guest. Uh, Horns excuse us one time uh, because we have to highlight this uh, fabulous drummer that um, has come all the way from Florida Avenue. Jeff Hill used to be with the band, um, a, a good inspiration for us and a good friend. And uh, he's going to show you what he can do because it's pretty badass. <laughs> Yeah. 
the front line with your fine, fine figure, y'all tell me.
But she came to show Something called messing with the kids. 